say this is WJZ and WJZ FM New York. And we're going to have a wonderful time with William Carlos Williams because I've been talking about him on this program for years. This is just to say I have eaten the plums that were in the icebox and which you were probably saving for breakfast. Forgive me. They were delicious, so sweet and so cold. <laughs> now, what I want to ask you about that, <clears throat> what makes that a poem? Because it's the kind of thing that almost anybody might say. Yes, because no one believes that poetry can exist in his own life. I don't say that I have succeeded, but that you can, by arranging the words, make a poem out of anything provided you have conceived it, you have seen it in your life, because the purpose of the artist, whatever it is, is to take the life which he sees and raise it, raise it up to an elevated position where it has dignity. Say it. No ideas but in things. When I was younger, it was plain to me I must make something of myself. Older now, I walk back streets admiring the houses of the very poor, roof out of line with sides, the yards cluttered with old chicken wire, ashes, furniture gone wrong, the fences and outhouses built of barrel staves and parts of boxes, all, if I'm fortunate, smeared a bluish green that properly weathered pleases me best of all colors. No one will believe this of vast import to the nation. This is one of those poems that really encourages a poet to write about things that he really sees. This also has a very nice, cluttery, clanky sound. Roof out of line with sides, the yards cluttered with chicken wire, ashes, furniture gone wrong, the fences and outhouses built of barrel staves and parts of boxes. It's a, it's a very nice sound, which really wasn't in poetry before. All this stuff was considered ugly. Chicken wire ashes. Why don't you say something nice, Dr. Williams? I'm a radical. I write modern poetry, baby. I'm an awful person. He, he realized that the English poetry that he'd been copying in school was not for him and that it wouldn't suit to express uh, the, the modern uh, public. He, he wanted then to write an American idiom, a, a, a poetry which would sound like the speech of American people talking. He'd come in at all times, day and night, and go to his desk here in this room and type. And my kid brother and I would hear him, we, we went to sleep with that, and we woke up with that. He's, he was a guy who needed very little sleep, very little rest, creatively uh, inspired at all times. He always had something to say. He's a master of line breaks, and one of the things when you look at his manuscripts is to see from draft to draft how he plays around with where he should end the line. The principle is mindfulness itself of the arrangement of the verse form on the page, however you do it with many different uh, considerations, whether it be consideration of how did it look when you originally wrote it down, how did it look in your head when you conceived the phrasing, how did it look when you spoke it, how does it sound when you break it up by the breath, how does it sound when you break it up by idea. Between walls, the back wings of the hospital where nothing will grow lie cinders in which shine the broken pieces of green bottle. You can break this up a lot of ways when you read it, but it always breaks up like speech. <laughs> 